Hi, my name is Stephanie Gates Sloan, and I have the opportunity to serve as the director at the UNT Baptist Student Ministry. I've had the privilege to serve here for 15 years, and I will say that during my time on campus, I've never experienced what we're experiencing today. I would say that college ministry in a COVID world is different. Specifically on our campus, what we have found is we have to live within the boundaries and the restrictions that UNT places above us. And what we have seen is in their caution has led to the, uh, the majority of our um, ministry events to be either adjusted or just completely put on pause. And so, for example, we used to do free lunch every Wednesday. Well, we can't do that now because it's no longer safe. UNT has said that the only thing that we can do is our Thursday night small groups. And we have to keep those to 10 people or less with social distancing as well as masks. And so our Thursday night worship, which is one of our key ways of introducing the gospel to students, has to look different. And so what we've been doing is we've shifted and pivoted to where now we record everything and then we live stream it. Our students get together in their small groups to watch that and to discuss it together. We have some students that are in those groups and in person, and then we have some of them that are Zooming in. Some of the biggest changes that we have seen is not only having to adjust our weekly schedule, but also so many of our students are no longer in Denton. They're doing ministry and classes in their hometown. And so they'll participate with us over Zoom or through phone calls. And so we have just seen that, like I said, ministry just looks different. But what I have found to be really exciting is we, the previous year we went through the book of Acts and we were talking about how God moved and worked through small groups of people. And that is our hope, is we want our students to understand that God has called them to be ambassadors of reconciliation, wherever it is that they may be. So those students that are here in Denton, we want them to understand that yes, they're a part of the BSM, but right now we want to equip them to take the gospel where God has placed them. So that's in their classes, their dorm rooms, with their roommates, wherever it is that they may work. We're even talking about, okay, if all of your classes are online, how do you engage to get to know people? And so my hope is, is that even though BSN ministry here at UNT looks different, that what we're gonna see is that our students are starting to understand that ministry is not about just coming to an event or showing up in a building. But what it is, is literally going and taking the gospel to wherever God may call them. Our mission statement here at the BSM is we know him to make him known. And I feel like COVID and the situations that are happening now is just one more way that the Lord is saying, go, take your relationship with me out onto this campus. Another thing that we have found is a lot of students are feeling really lonely and isolated. Some of the new students when they came in this last fall would say, I don't have any in-person classes. And so I'm in my dorm unless I'm going to go and eat. And so what we found while we weren't able to have big events to meet students was they were still reaching out to us. On our website, one of the things that we have been really intentional with is providing a very clear way to get connected here. And so every week we have sometimes up to four or five students that just reach out and say, I wanna learn more about ministry or I have questions about Jesus. Can I meet with someone? Or I wanna join a small group. And so even in the midst of restrictions, we're seeing our students go, we're seeing them invest, and we're seeing students reach out to say, there's something missing in my life, can you help me? And so I ask you, as you're watching this video, wherever you are, that you would just take some time to pray for us as we are continuing to say, Lord, what is it that you're doing? How would you want us to move? How can we best serve this community and help our churches be equipped to engage these college students? Would you pray for our staff? This just feels different. We miss getting to sit down with multiple students every week. That just, like I said, I've never experienced college ministry like this. Would you pray for our students that are just so tired of Zoom calls all the time? They're so tired of being isolated. We're seeing some different mental health issues pop up. And would you pray for our faculty and administration at UNT? They have done an extremely amazing job to try to keep our campus safe. And while that might have put some restrictions on us, I really respect their leadership and we want to be a good neighbor. We want 
to make sure that our gospel witness is not tarnished because we tried to just do what we wanted to do. And so we want to be faithful gospel stewards in the midst of where God has placed us. And so I would ask that you would just join us in praying that not only would God bring students to us, but most importantly, that we would be his ambassadors of reconciliation out on our campus. Thank you so much.